Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Michael for Tactica Imperialis, and welcome to News and Rumours. Today, we are mainly going to be talking Blood Angels. Well, that's the plan, at any rate. Before we start, um, I want to um, apologise for a few errors in the last video, um, mainly with the editing. That's my fault. I my hands up. And apologise for not getting loads of stuff out. Um, as I've said in my previous channel update, I am absolutely mad busy. However, Kieran has recorded some stuff for me today. He's doing some fantasy content, and I will get that to you hopefully before I go to Germany on the 18th. I must remember what day of the week it was. Right, so let's just um, stop before we get into the Blood Angel hype and look at something else involving Blood Angels. Let's look at the second Shield of Bar. This was called Deathstorm, not Exterminatus as I had predicted originally, um, or had seen, as should I say. And it contains a Broodlord, which I showed you in the wrong place, uh, 10 Gene Steelers, 3 Tyranny Warriors, and Carnifex. A Blood Angels Captain with Thunderhammer and Stormbolt in, in Terminator armor, 5 Terminators, 5 uh, Man Death Company squad, and a Furioso Dreadnought. The Furioso Dreadnought can also be assembled as a Furioso Librarian or a Death Company Dreadnought. The Death Company can be assembled with or without jump packs. The Carnifex and Tyranny Warriors have every option available in the book. Oh, sorry, not the book, in the box available to them because it is basically the Sprues. If you want to see a full unboxing, Commissar Warwick has done one. Um, I will try and link it in the description. So make sure if you want to see the contents of Death Storm, go and have a look. There is also a condensed mini rulebook in there. So definitely hope Kieran and Rowan get to go halves on that because Kieran is having a Blood Angel moment. Um, apparently there's some really good fluff. There's some really good artwork, I have to say. Um, but that wasn't the only release. Oh, no, 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 no. We had Smaug, Smog, however you want to call him. I call him, well, I call him Smog, and then I saw the review of the film, and now I call him Smaug. So I'm going to go with Smaug, the dragon, and he costs 480? dollars if I can remember correctly. So that's nearly 500 bucks. If you ask me what that is in English, I don't have a calculator to hand. Um, let's pick a number out of thin air, shall we? About 300 quid plus ish. I'm, th I'm picking numbers out of thin air, I'm afraid. But this guy is ginormous. Seriously. This guy. I think I saw the word 24 inch dragon get thrown around. So. I don't have my ruler to hand, but the screen I'm recording on is about 9 inches, and that's about that wide. So it's about three, two and a half of that. Two and a half. Wow. <laughs> this guy is huge. Seriously, this guy is ginormous. Uh, is that even a word? Don't even know. Just hype. But he has been listed as for expert modelers only. Let me make that clear. If you're like me and you're incompetent at building things, don't buy Smaug. Because it's very, very difficult. And looking at the model, I can understand why this thing is full on diorama size. It's brilliant. Thoroughly recommend it if you've A, got the money, and B, got the skill. I would fully recommend you pick up some Alg, because it's just awesome. I remember seeing it, I was um, in the car waiting to go to a university interview. So, yeah. Right, uh, the other thing was End Times Kane. That has also come out. This was the Elven End Times release, with no new models. No new models for End Times Kane. I am disappointed. But... There's been an absolutely massive expedition dump, loads of fluff, and loads of changes to the canon. Well, maybe not, but a whole new set of canon. We've seen the crowning of the Eternity King, the creation of the Avatar of Cain, the Incarnate of Light, the Incarnate of Shadow? I think it's Shadow. Pacts we never knew, battles we never understood. And there seems to be a fourth thing. It seems like there's some questions in End Times Cain left unanswered. One of which I actually really want to bring up. It's, um, spoiler alert, it is of a elven sorcerer, I cannot remember of which um, faction of elves, in the realm of chaos, for some reason. And he comes across a silvered knight, a knight in shining silver armour, who is said has wandered the realm of chaos for decades, centuries, even longer. And the demons of the realm of chaos, they fear and respect him. 
and he witnesses this knight being taken down by a horde of demons and he asks one of his compatriots or one of the demons who happens to be around what will become of him there's oh i wouldn't worry for him he will return he always does does this sound familiar to anybody i may have got the fluff a bit wrong but does it sound familiar silver knight bane of demons comes back all the time anybody shoots psychic bolts shoots bolts of magic from here-ish wields a glowing sword am i am i, am I helping anybody okay caldor drago caldor drago that's who this sounds like so are we seeing a 40k fantasy crossover we haven't seen one of those properly since, well, the release of the Demons Codex and Army book, and to a lesser extent when the Soul Grinder got moved into fantasy, that's the last time we saw any crossover at all. So maybe Drago is going into fantasy. I wouldn't mind that because I love Drago's model and I'd love an excuse to use him, particularly because his arm style actually quite fits with um, Empire. I mean, with the slightly beaky helm and... The whole chivalric knight type thing. I think it could work in an Empire army. Sort of. <laughs> um, we'll have to see. I mean, this is all purely speculation based on one bit of fluff. So, we'll see. Is there to be an End Times 4? I've heard maybe it's going to be Skaven. Um, not sure what they'll do with that, if they do anything with that. Personally, I'd like to see something involving the Lizardmen. Although Lizardmen and Skaven, I suppose, is a, not a bad combination. Um, or something involving, actually, who's left? Had the Empire in Glockkin, Britannia was in Glockkin, had the Elves, we've had most of the stuff with Nagash, Cetra, and all that lot. Yeah, it might be Lizardmen and Skaven, this one. Uh, not sure, don't hold me to it. And if and when Fantasy Ninth comes around, all the magic stuff and all the new rules will be retconned in. Um, also, uh, some Storm of Magic Cataclysm spells are now released as a sort of battle magic law, uh, I think. I'm not sure quite how it's going to apply, but they have released sort of a set of battle magic cane, which has got a serious amount of power in it. I mean, just think of the Cataclysm spells from Storm of Magic and you know what I'm on about. Uh, anyway, that's enough of the past. Now to what's going on right about now. That, of course, is Codex blood angels do, 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 do. hype so many people are getting hyped i mean the blood angels codex is was was five five and a half years old here we go oh that's convenient it gives me everything i want right in the right place okay so what's been released well we've had a sanguinary priest he looks really awesome we've had a terminator squad with a million options and a banner i'm going to come back to them We've had a tactical squad with a heavy flamer and a very controversial base. And we've had the Blood Angels Codex. I don't think we've had anything else. I don't think we have. Uh, no, I don't think we have. I'm going to just open this link up while I wait. Um, so let me return to the tactical squad. Now, the tactical squad is pretty much the same as any other tactical squad. Except it's got loads of Blood Angels, livery and iconography and a heavy flamer in the kit. So they get heavy flames. What's got people all quote unquote wound up is the bases. Just hold on for one moment. This is my new military Tempestus, and it is mounted on a 25 millimeter base. This is my Orc War Boss. And he is mounted on a 40 millimeter base. The new Space Marine Tactical Squad is mounted on a 32 millimeter base, which is about halfway between this and that. Why do people care? Why do people care at all? Well, from a hobbyist perspective, this is great because no longer will your Space Marine's feet stick out over the edge of the base. However, as a gamer, you may think, Oh, they've now got an extra three and a half millimeters on their base. That means that their frontage is going to be wider and they can travel a little bit further. Is this true? Maybe. I mean, it certainly gives the units a wider frontage. So it might be, it's going to be very small mechanically if it's going to make much of a difference. 
Some people saying, oh, should I start rebasing my whole army with 32 mil bases? No, I wouldn't. I reckon it's going to become the norm, but I don't think that's necessary. Oh, hello. Okay. So now uh, the Terminators. These Terminators are, like the Tactical Squad, full of options. Tons of options, including a banner. Now, why is a banner important? Well, can a Terminator Squad wield a company standard? No. Can they wield a chapter banner? No. The only Terminators that can wield banners anywhere, unless you count Space Walls, and I think they can, is Deathwing. Deathwing Command Squad. So, Blood Angels Terminator Command Squad, anybody? I, I think it's possibly a thing. I don't know how much of a thing, but it's a thing. I think. Don't hold me to that. The, should note the Terminators in um, Deathstorm are regular stock standard Terminators. So, don't think, oh, I'll get a banner out of that. You will have to actually go out and get this new Blood Angels Terminator box. I know it sucks. Anyway, on to some rules. This is via Warseer through Bell of Lost Souls. Couple of things. This is the big stuff. That he classes as the big stuff. Death Company Dreadnought is an elite's choice, and so is the Death Company. They are not a troop anymore, apparently. Vile Predator, heavy support. Librarian Dreadnought moves from elite to HQ. You can have an... No, you can't. That sucks. An almost now all Dreadnought army. You can have a Librarian Dreadnought as your HQ. Mephiston is an independent character. He can now join units. And is a HQ. He is not a Lord of War, apparently. That sucks. All units have Furious Charge. Why? Blood Angels now have Strength 5 on the charge. The only troop choices are Tactical Squads and Scouts. As I say, Death Company got moved. No new units. No Centurions. No Storm Talents. As examples. So, yeah. That sort of sucks. Okay. Unit Tweaks. Dante's axe is plus two strength, AP two, mastercrafted, not unwieldy, so he's got a superpower axe that makes him still strike at initiative, and he's an eternal warrior, apparently. Ding! Special rules for Death Company. Furious Charge, Fearless, Relentless, Feel No Pain, and Rage. Cannot reroll to Windows Chapters in the unit, only Astarath gives them this ability. So this is, I don't know the Old Blood Angels Codex, but I think that's a slight nerf. No Terminator armor for Death Company. But Jump Packs are now only three points. However, they're now weapon skill 4. So they must have been weapon skill 5. Which with strength 5 would have been overpowered. No squadrons for dreads. Standard dreads are now elite. As are Furios and Death Company. Librarian dreads are HQ. Tacticals as usual plus new options. Can get anti-air missiles as well, by the way. No more Landrader as dedicated transports for everybody. Sorry. Just for termies. Vanguard veterans cannot charge after deep strike. This brings them into line with Codex Marines. Sanguinil, pretty much the same, but gets only a 4-up involve, rerolls to hit and wounded challenges. Mm. So it's gone up and it's gone down. I don't really know if this is a buffer or not. Sanguinia Priest costs about the same as a Wyvern. So that's 65 points. HQ, units they join get plus 1 weapon skill and feel no pain are independent characters. Hmm. If they're like pain boys where they don't take up a HQ slot, or sorry, like mech boys, win. If they take up a HQ slot, bad. Rhinos, Razorbacks, and Bar Predators roll fast. And the detachment has a mandatory 1 HQ, 1 Elite, 2 Troops. Normal option, but you get a 3 additional Elite, so you can have 4 Elites. So just the detachment is normal with 4 Elites. Get plus 1 initiative when charging. So that if you get the old Furious Charge, any turn. I see in the pictures of the Codex, there is nothing coming after the Termi Kit. Librarian is separate from the kit. There must have been a Librarian Kit as well. Okay, so that's useful. Um, if anybody's interested, this, if I can get it to show up on screen, is the captain from Deathstorm. Okay, what else have we got? Useful things. Oh, Warlord Traits. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's, this is basically all coming via Bill West. There's a massive info dump coming right here. Okay, Warlord Traits. On a 1, Rampage. 2, plus 1 initiative. 3, 1 weapon gets Mastercrafted. 4, Adamantium Will. Five, Warlord gets Descent of Angels. This obviously is no longer an army special rule. It's a Warlord trait. And Dante has this trait. Six, 12-inch Fearless Bubble. Ooh, that's good. Relics. 
A jump pack that allows the bear in his unit to re-roll when deep striking and when other units intercept snapshots. So this basically means if they are intercepted as they fire, like, let's say, a Hydra, actually, Hydras don't get interceptor, by a quad gun, they're still snap firing at them. One gives fear and fear tests at minus two leadership and it looks like... It's got something sort of Meltag in the side. Don't know what that means. Uh, one item gives an additional Warlord trait on a strategic table. It's kind of like the Orc one, actually. Uh, one Psychic Weapon, plus two strength AP4, may reroll one in the Psychic phase. If reroll dies also a one, Bearer takes wound, no saves allowed. Rerolling a Psychic Test, but if it comes up as a one, oh dear. One Mastercrafted Plasma Pistol that does not get hot. Ouch. AP2 Power Sword. Ouch. Uh, psychic Powers. Primaris. This is a blessing. I, um, I'm not quoting names because it doesn't have them. Plus D3 to attack the initiative to psych or target character in 12 inches. Ow, 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 and ow. Malediction, power one. Target unit 12 inch text morale test minus two. Eh. No, power two. Blessing. Target unit 18 inches gets rage if they already had it plus one attack. So your death company are going to hit like a ton of bricks. Three. Blessing. Psycho energy unit get a five plus. Involve. Eh. Boring. Four. Focus switch fire. Target makes two toughness tests. One wound for each failure. If target dies, place a 5-inch blast. That's a large blast. Strength 4 AP 5. Eh. Uh, power 5. Beam. Uh, t strength 8 AP 1. Lance 6-inch. Bless. Oh. Whoops. Failure beam. 12-inch range. Strength 8 AP 1. Lance. Ow. 6. Blessing. Target infantry unit moves 12 inches in the psychic phase. That sounds like wings of Sanguinius. But you can't charge. Eh. Uh, I'm not dead sold. I mean, they're nice, and they're probably nice and flavorful. But, uh, have I got anything else? Uh, no, 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 and no. Okay, well, that's the majority of the Blood Angels Codex information. Uh, apologies if that felt very much like an info dump, because it was, and that's news. That's your news, folks. Now, we had a bit of rumor earlier. Now let's have a bit more. This actually, I believe, sounds preposterous. I'm throwing a lot of big words in here, aren't I? This sounds nonsense. And apparently, don't hold me to this, Gwilliman is coming back. I'll leave that as my final thought. Actually, my final thought, the new Conrad Curse model looks amazing. Go and check it out. It's badass. So final thought, Gwilliman is possibly coming back. I'll leave that with you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Um, and be sure to share this video with your friends so there's more people who actually watch it and we'll get more news. Warwick, if you are still here, I hope you like the new Blood Angels Codex. And I hope everybody who likes Blood Angels likes the new Blood Angels Codex. Um, I'm going to run this past Kieran as well, see what he thinks. Um, next video, probably going to be Kieran. He's doing some fantasy content. I will not give any more away than that. So thank you for watching. My name is Michael. And I will see you again.